Hi kids! Welcome to our Children's School of Character. I'm Teacher Micah. Join me for another amazing science exploration. Now, here's my question for you. Do you think it's easy or difficult to follow God? Well, it's both. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's difficult. But the important thing is we follow God no matter if it's easy or difficult. Today, our exploration will remind us of where God wants us to be. Are you ready? So here are the materials that we need for today's exploration. We have two 9-inch balloons and then two twist ties, one black and one white and a thread spool. Now, ask an ate or kuya or mommy and dad to help you out. First, let's blow or pump into our first balloon. Now, let's blow it into a big balloon. Now, let's Put a twist tie on the tip so the air cannot escape, just like this one. So see how big the balloon is. Next, let's blow or pump some air into our second balloon, but not as big as the first balloon. Now let's put a twist tie again on the tip so the air cannot escape. Now let's connect the balloons in our thread spool or PVC pipe. Make sure it's secure. There, it's tight and secure. Now let's slowly take off the twist tie from the smaller balloon. Then, let's take off the twist tie from the bigger balloon. Let's see what happens. Pay close attention to the big balloon and the small balloon. The smaller balloon became smaller and it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and it's very small. But that was a fun exploration. Do you know why the big balloon took the air from the smaller balloon? It's because the air molecules in the smaller balloon are more crowded than the air molecules in the big balloon. This makes the pressure greater in the small balloon. In other words, there's more space in the bigger balloon than the smaller balloon. When the balloons are untied, the pressure in the small balloon pushes the air molecules into the big balloon. Before we proceed, let's read our Bible verse today. It's Matthew 7, 13 and 14. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction and many enter through it. But small is the gate, and narrow the road 
that leads to light and only a few find it. What do you think is the relationship between our exploration and our Bible verse today? Well, the big balloon represents the wide road. The wide road is the easy way. When you live your life on the wide road, it means that you do what everyone else is doing, even if it is not right anymore. The small balloon represents the narrow road. The narrow road is the right way according to our Bible verse. Sometimes it's hard to stay in the narrow road. Your friends might make fun of you for doing the right thing and staying on the narrow road. When people make fun of you for doing what is right, you need to be very careful. It's easy to let wrong ideas influence you. When this happens, you can get pulled onto the wide road and away from the right way. Much in the same way that all air got sucked out of our small balloon earlier and into the big balloon. God wants you to follow His way even though it's not always easy. But God will help you and give you the strength to stay on the narrow road. Let's read our Bible verse again today. It's Matthew 7, 13 and 14. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Matthew 7, verse 13 to 14. For into through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the road that leads to destruction, and many enter through it. But small is the gate, and narrow is the road that leads to life, and only few find it. Matthew 7, verse 13, verse 14. To those who recited our Bible verse today, and thank you too. It was great to have you join today and we hope that you will join us again next week for another amazing science exploration. Always remember that Jesus loves you. Bye!